Hi, my name is Robert Laszlo Kiss and I'm an industrial designer based in Amsterdam. My background is in industrial engineering and I did my bachelor's in Romania. During my bachelor's I discovered my passion for drawing and I spent an enormous time on the internet connecting with people all over the world uh, who, are, who are also interested in drawing, especially concept art since uh, I was really into entertainment industry and video games. After I was done with my bachelor's, I decided I want to unify my passion for drawing with my learned profession and I uh, decided to do a master's in industrial design engineering. I chose the Technical University of Delft and there I uh, continued my master's in industrial design engineering. One of my favorite professors at the TU Delft was Kos Eisen, who also has a couple of books out regarding design sketching. Uh, I can really recommend those books. I like them a lot. Not everybody liked Coase because he was a very strict uh, teacher, but I really liked his no-nonsense approach and his strict adherence to everything had to be perfect. Until this point, basically all my drawing was self-taught and just tutorials that I looked up on the internet. And this was my first contact with actual uh, design sketching. Here I learned about the importance of the straight lines and also learned how to properly use markers. During my studies at the TU I also did an internship at Gorilla Games where I learned how to use the digital tools even more. Although I was quite good with Photoshop, joining a visual team like that of Gorilla Games really teaches you that you're not really good at Photoshop at all, you don't know nothing. So I really learned a lot and both from the university and also from Guerrilla Games, I learned that sketching can be your passion, but it's also a tool for communication. It really helps you explain and helps you communicate your ideas much better. After I was done with my studies, I started working at a company called Ink Strategy, where we basically do strategy visualizations. So we apply all the tools of sketching and visual thinking that we learned at uh, industrial design and we apply it to strategies. This is the really nice thing in design sketching. You can use it to not just showcase different products, but you can also use it to showcase strategies, to break strategies down, simplify them and redesign them and build them back up. In the video so far, you could see my basic approach to drawing. I wanted to draw a semi-futuristic Enduro motorbike and for that I did a couple of uh, sketches just exploring the shape, understanding the shape. I'm usually not that good at drawing motorbikes. I, I don't even remember if I ever drew motorbikes, but, uh, but I thought, yeah, this could be a good occasion. So usually I always approach uh, a sketch or a project by just exploring the shapes and doing a little bit of research. So you can't see it on the video, but I always have a bunch of reference images of different enduro bikes open and I try to design elements, I try to capture the basic shape of it, and I also try to capture elements of it. And now in, in the second part, you can also see that I'm, I'm trying to design elements like the engine or the, the front light section separately. Usually I like to take uh, something that I don't know, in this case, uh, the motorbike's engine, and just drawing it a couple of times to try to understand how actually an engine looks. You also want to understand how it might be functional. In design sketching, you can have two approaches, I would say, at least for myself. You can try and make it as realistic as possible. So try to draw every element separately, try to understand each and every element and then put them together and draw them together. This will really give you a realistic drawing and design as well. But sometimes you're in a hurry. So sometimes you really don't need to go into all this detail. You can just take the shapes, like I also did in the beginning, have a nice shape language and try to communicate that. And from there on, you can move and detail it later on. I also recorded a digital version of my sketching process, but I really didn't want to drag this video out any further. But I will try and upload that video in the future as well, maybe as a separate recording, if people are interested. Anyways, thank you very much for checking out my video and hope you guys got a little bit inspired and pick up pen and paper or maybe a stylus and start sketching. And finally, a big thanks to Hector Silva from Advanced Design Sketching for putting me up to this.